So we did, um, I totally forgot what I was going to, what does it say? Line. Set of our Mickey Shape Life, and today we're going to tell you about a little adventure we had while at Magic Kingdom and our last trip. And that would be a Pirates League. Yeah, so this is the first time our family has done this adventure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wanted to wait till all the boys um, were old enough to do it so they could all do it together. Um, so, just a little bit of the basics of the experience um, there's three basic packages that you can get. Oh, first, um, you have to be at least three, mm -hmm. but there's no age limit on the high end. You can be an adult and get it, unlike mm -hmm. um, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. And there's basically three levels of packages. The, the main package, which was I think forty four ninety nine or ninety five. That's um, the and, one we did. Yes, that's the one we did, and that comes with you know any makeup effect that they want, and then all the accessories, which we're going to show you guys in a little bit. And so the makeup effects are pretty cool. There's like six different options, eight different, something like that. Yeah, there's and a lot of options of two. It's, it's different facial hair, it's different, uh, one's a ghost one, that, which our youngest guy, Nicholas, where it's all white with like black eyes. Uh, and then there's, yeah, there's a couple different styles of facial hair and, and scars and whatnot. Yeah, uh, entrance to a Pirates League, we've never noticed it before. No, it's, it's just right of the queue for Pirates. You go and you check in and they will hand your kids like a menu basically and they can pick out whatever facial f makeup that they want. So we just let the boys have free reign and pick whatever they want. So then they call you back. Mm -hmm. and First thing you do is you have to roll the dice in this little treasure chest and that is to get your pirate's name. So they do it. you roll for your first name, you roll for your last name, and you get some interesting combinations. It's just a fun little... Ceremony, I guess, adds some, I don't know, fun. Yeah. So Connor was... Jason Battleshout. James was Charles, Charles True Silver, which is funny because the lady who was doing the um, name ceremony, her last name was also True Silver. She's like, oh, we're cousins. <laughs> <laughs> and Nicholas was... Uh, Benjamin Tackrash. Yeah, so it was just fun, and they, um, the cast members who did like their makeup remembered those names and like were calling them those names mm -hmm. um, throughout the entire experience. Yeah. So once you get your name, you are called back into the, I don't know. It it's like a hair salon yeah. type thing, but it's all decorated. So the whole room is decorated like a pirate's, I don't know, ship or whatnot. It is awesome. It's it a is cool room. I mean, it's. Think about Disney and how immersive their theming is. They even carried it over into this salon type of experience. They had, you know, treasure all over the top. Um, like the mirrors were crooked. They had like um, the rifles, and I took like a lot of pictures um, just because I thought it was so cool. Like it really, if you just looked at the pictures, you would be like, oh my gosh, they really went to like. Yeah. Pirate's Den or whatever. So they call you back into the room. There's, um, they get, are given like their pirate that's going to make them over. Mm -hmm. And we were lucky that, you know, it wasn't that crowded on a day. There was only like two other kids getting yeah. made over. Um, so we were all kept together, but you know, it's not something you should expect if it's if you go on like a busier day, but for us it was very nice that we were all just like boom, 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 so we could just yeah. trade off and take pictures and video while each kid was getting their thing done, because they were all done at the exact same time. Um, and then they were just like, thankfully they all ended at different times so we could do their like, um... Had to do, well yeah, at the end they had to do oath. a pirate's oath. Yeah, so, um, the first thing they do is they're going to give them their tattoo, which was a skull and crossbones and they give it to them on their hand. The quality of the tattoo was probably the worst thing that they were given. I would say for each each kid had like different um, length that it lasted but the shortest it lasted was like an hour and then it started like crumbling. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of like temporary tattoos in the 
in our household. I've never seen it happen so quickly. I've never seen it happen, I don't think, but I've never seen it happen so quickly. So that was like, um, you know, not the best, mm. but you know, that's only one of the many things that they get done. So yeah. then after that, they start getting their facial effect. Mm -hmm. So depending on what your kid got, you know, would just take on, would be like the length of however long it's going to take. Like yeah. Nicholas took the longest because he got like the, the full, full face. white face with the black eyes. Yeah. yeah I mean, and, if, and he's, he's four years old. So it takes a long time. You gotta be careful with kids like that. Yeah. And that was another thing I wanted to mention is that I don't know if we just completely lucked out with the cast members that we got or that they really are good at reading the child because each of our children is very different mm -hmm. and they kind of need different things especially in that kind of um, circumstance for example James was very scared he up until I would say the day before he told me he did not want to get any face paint yeah. he hates having people touch him and he never wants to get his face painted anytime you know we do something like that so when he decided like the day before that he wanted to get it done I was like are you sure so I told the the girl that did him, I was like, he's really not into people touching him. And she's like, oh, it's okay, I got it. So, like, James was kind of scared going into the experience. Mm -hmm. And his girl was very calming and very quiet and just kind of just did it for yeah, him. Yeah, and kind of talked him through it. And just yes. was very considerate of it. Yes. And Connor's girl was completely over the top, crazy, yeah. Yeah. loud. Loved. He loved it so much. He yeah. loved being the center of attention. He loves having like all, you know, everybody looking at him. Because since it wasn't that crowded, they had other um, Extra, cast members there yeah. that were like also talking to Connor and like making a big deal out of everything. And so that's exactly what he needed. He needed somebody that was going to really make a big deal out of everything and she totally did and they were hilarious yeah they were they were making me laugh they were they were jabbing back and forth at each other and yeah they were, they were really fun and then nicholas's cast member was super patient and i and obviously that's what a four-year-old needs because you know he moves around yeah and he's like remember to keep your head up or you know so and he was totally never ever got frustrated or annoyed or anything like that. He was so good with Nicholas. So um, they all had the perfect cast member for them. And again, I don't know if we just happened to luck out or they really were able to read each child and kind of play off of that. Um, but because of the cast members, in my opinion, it made the experience, yeah. that's what made the experience so amazing yeah. is the cast members that it we It was so much with. fun. It was yes, so fun. it was so much fun. And so after they get the makeup, then they put on the bandana, which we'll show you. I'm just gonna like show each thing that they got like when they get it. So they get the bandana and that's two sides. So they get to pick which side they wanted. Um, yeah, there's a red side and a gray side. Either yeah. way. And that's really good quality. Uh, everything that we got, I feel like was good quality. Um, maybe not like, I thought we lost the eye patch. Oh no. So <laughs> they get the band. Oh, nice. Yeah. Not my <laughs> first bandana. Really? No, yeah, it's my first bandana. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> so they get the bandana, and then they get the eye patch, which, since all of our kids had makeup on their eyes, they just put it like, like that, and then they told them, you know, once your stuff dries, then you can put that on. And then they have like the little clip on earring, but they don't clip it to their ear, which I liked. They just clipped it to the back of the. Uh, Bend it. I, I lost the... it. I would never be the pirate makeover person. The the eye patch, so that it looks like it's hanging down from their ear, but it's really not. So, and then they also give them a shaving kit, which was um, just like a makeup removing wipe. Yeah. But they said that was the kit. funniest. Yeah, and it had like directions and everything. And the boys were so excited they had shaving kits. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> I feel like I am a uh, connoisseur of makeup removing products, and the makeup product, the makeup removing wipe they gave me was actually really, really good. I wish we had more because I feel like it wasn't necessarily enough. Yeah. And I have my own makeup removing products, but we were doing this, 
in the parks because that's how yeah. <laughs> it ended up going for us. Showing a little bag. Yeah. So then they get the um, they do the pirate oath, which um, was really long, and they just had to repeat it, and it was kind yeah. of like a silly little thing, and then they would have to go like yo ho or whatever. And everyone in the room screams yo ho as soon as there's a pirate. Yeah, they like announce the pirate to the entire um, salon. I don't and know. Everyone screamed. Call it. Great <laughs> then, clips. <laughs> then they give him this little pouch that says um, the Pirates League, and inside they have a key that they get their treasure. So again, it's um, I don't know. I feel like it's really good quality. It's not plastic. It's metal. It's got this little skull in the yeah. middle, and then you could totally make it into like a keychain or something. Or an ornament, or yeah. Um, so they get that, and then once. All of our kids were done. They brought them over to the corner of the area and they had like a secret door and they let us into the treasure. I think they called it a treasure room. Mm. It's like a secret room they have in there. So oh wait, really cool. they also got their swords. They oh, yeah. got their sash. Before they brought us in the room, they got their sash, which they pinned with a bobby pin and they got their sword and he gave them like all these rules, which I really appreciated. Um, you know, like, I didn't have to be the bad guy. He was, like, the one that was big, putting rolls on the swords. Yeah. yeah. So then they um, brought us into the room, the treasure room. And do you want to talk about that? Yeah, so this <laughs> random little, like, you wouldn't know it was there. It was literally a secret room, which is really cool. I mean, the whole experience really cool. So we walk in, and it's, like, behind a bookshelf or something. Mm -hmm. they, they got us into there very Scooby-Doo-esque. Uh, and just yeah, we went in there, and then the they they did something. They they, they pulled remember. on a magical drawer or something, or turned yeah. their key. I don't really. Remember. We'll, have to, we'll have to review the video, but yeah. And then each of them got their own awesome little uh, pirates medallion, pirates booty, if you will. Yeah, it's cute. And again, this is like really good quality, a good quality necklace. Yeah, and it says a pirates league on back, so it's kind of unique and everything too. So. Yeah. Um, and then the one thing that was kind of frustrating to me was, so after they get their treasure, there's like a throne and we were taking pictures of the throne. Um, but like, I feel like they should have had a photo pass photographer there, to be honest. Like if you do mm -hmm. Bibbidi, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, they have a photo pass photographer taking pictures with the little girls. And I just felt like they should have had one there too. And instead, you know, I had to take my own picture, which I'm not a like super good photographer. And the lighting in there was very, very difficult to work with. So mm -hmm. all of the pictures that I took in there turned out horrible. So basically it's like, I don't have any pictures from that room. And that's kind of frustrating to me. So I feel like that was another like complaint I had. So then after you take your picture on the throne, they have um, another secret door that leads out to like the entrance mm -hmm. where we did like the naming ceremony thing, yeah. and they had like little peepholes. Oh yeah. So he had like a big for like if you're an adult, or and then they had like one down low, and he let each kid look into the peephole and make sure there was nobody outside, yeah. so they could go through the door, the secret door, which I thought was really cute, and then. And then they were presented with their uh, official pirate oh, right. scroll. Yeah. So. I this was, I was not expecting this. Yeah. Kind of, have to like pull it that. So it has their name on it, and then it has the pirate's oath that they read after they became pirates, and then like all these little. And it's signed by stamps. Jack Sparrow. Yes. So, yeah, cool. very cool. So we got three of these, and then you have to pay. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's pretty much the entire experience. Yeah. So that kind of side perk to. Um, the Pirates League is that they got a lot of character interaction, or like not character, cast yeah. member interactions. Um, so right after the makeover, I think we went on Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And then, um, then we did the Festival Fantasy Parade. And they had so many of just the cast members that are walking, like, walking around. around. Yeah. Um, come up to them and do stuff. And even some of the you know, characters on their floats noticed them and like did all this stuff. Yeah, so, one of them was like, "Oh, a pirate." Yeah, I can't. Remember. I think it. Was, I think it was Merida. 
I honestly don't remember which one. Yeah, but it was it was fun. I mean, it added to the whole experience, obviously, which is yeah. awesome. A little extra Disney magic. But overall, what did you think of the experience? Overall, I thought it was awesome. I, I, I had heard of it from previous trips, but I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, you've probably, you probably did more research beforehand and knew more about it, but for me, I, I knew virtually nothing, and it was amazing. I thought it was really awesome. I think every kid should have the opportunity to do that. Boy, girl, I, I think they made it really fun. The cast members were awesome. Yeah. Uh, the environment was awesome. Uh, a few tweaks here and there would have made it, you know, the greatest thing ever. But <laughs> Yeah. I mean, nothing's going to be the greatest thing ever. You can't have it. something that's going to be flawless 100%, but I feel like for the price of basically $45, um, they got all this stuff, and all this stuff is really something that they could keep for a long time. Yeah. Like the, like I said, the the metal things, the necklace and the key, like those are really good. <laughs> they can keep them for a while. Um, the eye patch they can keep for a while. Yeah. So these Next are time things. Next time I ask for an iPad, we'll give them this. <laughs> so um, I think that. It was a hundred percent worth it. I definitely want to do it again. Yeah. Um, and I mean, that's all there is to say. Yeah. If you have any other comments, questions, uh, definitely ask below. Uh, but we'd recommend it. Uh, make sure you like this video and subscribe. And have a magical day. Bye. Bye.